Hello guys, welcome back once again to my channel. I have this beautiful uh, third degree or what you can call a cubic equation on the board and it's an Olympiad uh, question and then what I'm going to do in this class is or what we are going to do in this class is to find all the values of x both the real values and then the imaginary values uh, but there's something I must do now before we even go ahead to solve this question and very very important I do this um, from the bottom of my heart from the deepest part of my heart I want to show my appreciation to all of you all around the world all my viewers anywhere you are in Africa Europe uh, from the Americas, you know, from the Indian subcontinent. I have a good number of you from India that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. I want to specifically thank all of you for your support, for all your comments. I appreciate it from the depth of my heart. And I want to also encourage us to keep up the good work that we are doing. It is because of you that I am here. If I haven't seen much of some, I mean, if I have not gotten the support, I won't be where I am today. So thank you very much. And to let you know, I this has been something that I've been planning to do for a very long time. And so I have decided to share my knowledge with you guys. It's not like I know it all, or it's not like I'm the best uh, mathematics uh, teacher there is here on this platform. But I know that um, every one of us we can learn from each other and of course we know YouTube is a global community so we are trying to build something great something enduring something lasting that in years to come you look back and say wow I was part of this from the very beginning thank you very much and God bless you so now that said let's go back uh, get back to the question and see how we tackle this please uh, go ahead solution I bring down the question s squared minus x cubed equal to 12. Okay. Um, so next is to, I'm going to transfer this 12 to the left hand side. So I have s squared minus x cubed minus 12 equal to 0. So this is now in the standard uh, um, cubic uh, expression, which it has to be equal to 0. Okay. So now the next thing is, I'm going to rewrite this to have s cubed minus x cubed plus x squared minus 12 equal to 0. And then um, I don't want a negative attached to the s cubed. So I want the first term to be a positive uh, coefficient. Okay, so what I just need to do is to multiply this by minus 1. Okay, and then multiply, of course, whatever you multiply by minus 1, uh, by 0 is always a 0. So I multiply this by minus 1. So what we have now will be s cubed minus s squared plus 12 equal to 0. So now we can begin uh, the real work here. So where we now, what we now need to do is that uh, I'm going to split up this 12 because 12 is 4 plus 8 or 8 plus 4. Where this is the perfect square and this is the perfect cube. So we have s cubed minus x squared plus 4 plus 8 or plus 8 plus 4, whichever way you want to pick it. It's the same thing. So I'm going to bring this 8 together with x cubed. And then of course I have minus x squared will come together with a 4 equal to 0. So what I need to do is x cubed plus 2 cubed, then minus x squared plus 2 squared. You can see this is sum of cube, sum of uh, two cubes, and that is sum of uh, perfect square. So what I need to do further is to say um, x cubed plus two cubed. Now I'm going to factorize this to give us minus x squared, and then of course, so minus open bracket, x squared minus uh, two squared equal to zero. So now I'm going to apply some algebraic uh, rule here. So first we have, recall that, so we have to recall that um, if we have a cubed plus b cubed, 
just like we have it here, sum of two cubes, this is going to give us a plus b multiplied by a squared minus ab plus b squared. Also, if I have a squared plus uh, as does a squared minus b squared, this is the same thing as a, this difference of two squares, a plus b bracket a minus b. So we're going to use these two algebraic identities to simplify what we have right here. So what happens is this becomes, um, uh, so the s cube now becomes, applying this law, where x is a and b is, sorry, a is equal to x and b will be equal to 2. So we have x plus 2, okay, then here we have x squared minus 2x, then b is 2 of course, so that will give us uh, 4. And then we go ahead, minus difference of 2 squares, that is uh, x plus 2 times uh, x minus 2, everything here will be equal to 0. Hope that is clear. Now if we look at these two expressions, this is, the x plus 2 is common, so we have x plus 2, then here we have x squared minus 2x plus 4, then minus, of course, we are taking out x plus 2, so we are going to now have minus x minus 2, everything here will be equal to 0. Okay, so we have x plus 2, so I'm going to simplify this, x squared minus 2x plus 4, then minus x plus 2 equal to 0. So let's simplify this to have x plus 2 bracket x squared, then minus 2x minus x, that gives us minus 3x, then 4 plus 2 will give us uh, uh, 6 equal to 0. So from that end, uh, we are going to say clearly that, we are going to say that from that end, we are going to say that uh, x equal to x plus 2 equal to 0. So here we are going to have it that x plus 2 equal to 0 or x squared minus 3x plus 6 equal to 0. So, so that's what we have. So from here now, we can say clearly that, from where we are now, we can say clearly that x my uh, x equal to minus 2, yes, x will be equal to minus 2 here, that is if x plus 2 equal to 0, so x will be equal to minus 2, or x squared minus 3x plus 6 equal to 0. So that this now becomes a quadratic, and then we are going to get two additional values of x. Already we have an x value of minus 2, let's see what this uh, quadratic expression will give us in terms of the two remaining values of x. So I'm going to continue the solution on this side. So continue the solution on this side so that we have now um, x squared minus 3x plus uh, 6 equal to 0. So what I'm going to do now is to see if this is, uh, if this has linear factors. Of course, from the beginning, I already mentioned the fact that uh, we are going to get all the values, whether they are real or imaginary. So let's see if this has um, real values, or sorry, if it has linear factors, and then if it does, we go ahead and simply find the remaining values of x. And if it doesn't, then we'll see what else to do to determine those uh, values. So in that case, I need to find the value of the discriminant. Um, it can be a delta or I mean a delta sign. Let's see. Delta, that would be b squared minus 4ac, right? So a is 1, b is minus 3 and then c is uh, plus 6. So let's see what we, what we get. So minus 3 squared 
minus 4 times 1 times 6. This will give me 9 minus 24. And this gives me minus 15. Now, this is, um, since, since this is minus 15, what it means is there are no real roots for this quadratic expression. No real roots. So it will be imaginary. And for us to determine the imaginary roots, we are going to use um, the quadratic formula, which in this case is uh, x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of delta. Okay? All over 2a. Because we have found this, and this is actually minus 15. So x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of uh, minus b is actually, what is the value of b? Minus 3, minus 3, plus or minus square root of, uh, plus or minus square root of minus 15, all over 2 times 1. So, from here we have x, x will be equal to 3, plus or minus square root of minus 15, all over 2. Okay, so um, I'm going to break up minus 15 to give us square root of 15 times square root of minus 1. So we have that to give us uh, so we have that to give us uh, x equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 15 times minus 1. All over 2, so we have x equal to uh, 3 plus or minus square root of 15 times square root of minus 1 all over 2. Now we know that the square root of minus 1 is i, and so we replace square root of minus 1 with i, right? So we have uh, yeah, square root of minus 1 is i, alright? So that um, this further simplifies to 3 plus or minus square root of 15 i all over 2. So there are two values there, and the two values, I'm going to bring them out this way. So we already have value of x1 to be minus 2, so x2 will be 3 plus root 15 i all over 2, and then the third value of x will be 3 minus root 15i all over 2. So, those are the values of x. So guys, thank you for staying by, or uh, dropping by rather. Watch, learn, subscribe, please share my videos, and let's grow together. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next uh, video.